Joe never stopped assuring me. Sophia, I promise to take care of you when I complete school. True to his word, when his feet were planted after graduating from school, he never reneged on those promises. He took a personal care of the children and I threw his life after school. Joe's love for me was so strong that no third person could come between us. Five years after marrying with no child, John brushed aside relentless family pressure to seek another woman for children. We eventually had our first daughter in March 1976. My marriage for me, my marriage to John will always be my greatest accomplishment in life. He taught me a whole lot. How to carry myself in public as a lady, how to eat at the table, and how to speak English and much more. He performed his fatherly role very well. He was so much dedicated to me and the children. He loved his children so much that he would not trade their education for anything else. At their younger ages, he never missed their birthdays, always calling them with gifts and throwing birthday parties forever small. He was such a straightforward man. He never missed his words. He stood for truth and would always say things as they were. He had our own, we had our own challenges along the line, but through it all, the love we had for each other pulled us through. John, in your last days, you were overcaring and protective of me. Your love for me was so strong. You pampered me like a baby. Little did I know that it was a way of saying goodbye to me. You have left me alone in the lonely world. May 4th, 2022 was the last day of being with you. You came out of the room to say goodbye to me. One patient was taking me to a crowd for a medical checkup. You spoke the next day. We spoke the next day, Thursday. You did not complain of any headache or pain in any part of your body. The morning of the day you finally left us, we spoke again. You were rather worried about my health and told me to quickly return after consulting with my doctors. You sounded very well. A few hours later, my heart was broken. When the news of your sudden demise started trickling in, I never had the chance to say goodbye, to share our stories, for the last 51 years we've been together, to hold and kiss you, assuring you I would follow you wherever you were. You are a giant in the eyes of men, a true human to have been blessed upon us. I am drowned in tears. I am lost in thought. The star of Kusa has fallen. The great warrior of Kusa has fallen. My dependent partner, my brother, my friend, and my father has left me feeling lonely and filled with grief. Till we meet again, the love of my life, rest in peace, and I love you.